Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively as we watch this video, my people. African live in illusion. And I'm going to give you the words step by step why Africans all live in illusion. We live in a confused life. I'm going to give you a scenario. I will start from South Africa. Um, South Africans, I don't hate you. I'm going to tell you the way it is. South Africans also, they live in an illusion. A confused bunch of some people, not all South Africa, I mean some South Africa. If a South African man will wake up one day and say the foreigners are their problem, and I begin to worry, do you understand me? South African problem is not religion. South Africans do not have too much problem of religion. They are not too addicted to religion. But the problem they have is self-hate. Self-hate. If I hate a South African, that means I hate myself because when you read the history of migration in Africa, you actually understand that Shaka Zulu of South Africa actually came from West Africa. He migrated from West Africa down to, to Zululand. Because we don't read. When you see a Nigerian in South Africa, you want to persecute and say, oh, this is a foreigner. This is Kwere Kwere. When you see a Zimbabwe in South Africa, you believe that Zimbabwe is your problem in South Africa. This is how I see Africa. We live in illusion. When you are poor in South Africa, they all believe that the foreigners are the ones who make them poor. We all live in illusion. When you see a Mozambique in South Africa, a common South African man on the street will tell you that, hey, my problem is the Mozambique man. When a common South Africa see a Nigerian on the street of South Africa riding a beautiful car, he lives in illusion, believing that the problem, his problem, is from that Nigeria. I'm telling you this. Africa, we are going a long way. We are still going to be traveling the world and begging and cleaning the streets and washing toilets and working in the restaurant. Yes, South African people, you people are traveling now, you know, you are feeling the heat now. Anyway, now let me go back to Nigeria. Every Nigerian live also in illusion. And I'm going to tell you why. Every Nigerian's religion is a problem of Nigeria. Nigerians love foreigners even more than their own brothers. I want to repeat myself. If you are not a Nigerian and you are watching me now, try to go to Nigeria and say you are a foreigner. They are going to take care of you more than their own family. I tell you, their last cobble in their pocket, somebody is ready to spend it for you. In the whole of Africa, Nigeria is one of the countries who embrace foreigners. This is not my opinion. It is there in archive. But the problem of Nigeria is religion. Yes, religion is our problem. We live in that illusion where you believe that when you go to the mountain and pray from January to December, you are going to be rich. Yes, you are going to be rich. You li we live in that nation where you believe that even if Muhammad Buhari is not doing well, even if the elites 
is not doing well. Even if the bandits is are, if the bandits are killing, even if Boko Haram are killing, once you are calling the name of Jesus Christ and name of God, everything will come to an end without a fight. This is where you live in illusion. We live in that country where many people believe that when PDP took over the government, Nigeria is going to be all right. We all live in illusion. Trust me. You are living in a pipe dream. We live in that country where some people in northern part of Nigeria, Aousa Fulani, when they hear of Biafra, they are getting choked. Uh, let, me, let me come back again. I say in Nigeria, we have lived in that country where some people from the northern part of Nigeria, Aousa Fulani, when they hear that name, Mazin Namdikanu, when they hear that name, Biafra, they are choking. What is choking? I will give you a demonstration of what choking means. Choking means I can't breathe. The, that name Biafra or that name Mazin Namdikanu is choking them. Let me tell you, Mazin Namdikanu is like coronavirus. <laughs> I repeat myself. Mazi Namdekanu is like coronavirus. And I'm going to explain to you, some of you. Now, we have lived in the world where coronavirus is moving from air, right? You will breathe the air, whether you like it or not. The coronavirus is in the air. So you are still going to breathe that air. Abi? Whether coronavirus, they kill somebody behind you, you will still breathe that air. Am I lying? But if you don't want to breathe that air, what do you do? You close your nose. You close your mouth. And what will happen? You are going to choke to death. Hearing that name, Mazin Namdekanu, is choking them to death. When you close your eyes, <clears throat> when you close your ears, you are still hearing Biafran people talking. When you open your eyes, you are still seeing us on social media. You, you don't have a choice until you take that COVID-19 hijab. Are you getting me now? What is the hijab of Mazin Namdekanu? Referendum. Are you getting me now? Referendum. That's all. It's just like somebody who have a coronavirus or who, who don't want to contact coronavirus and they'll tell you, go and take COVID-19 injection. You are refusing. Go and take coronavirus injection. You are dying. Just like what is happening to the soldiers. The soldiers are dying of an armed robber. Armed robbers is killing the soldiers. Did you hear that in Ibadan? The police? Did you hear that at Ibadan where the armed robbers are killing them? They are dying in numbers. It's just like when, there's, when, we, when we come to social media and say, hey, Nigeria needs to change. We need change. We need revolution. So that the life of any Nigerian ministry, the life of any Nigerian soldier and police should be straightened up. You people are refusing. I'm going to repeat myself. Mazin Namdekanu is like coronavirus in the air i want to repeat myself it's like a coronavirus in the air you must breathe that coronavirus if you like it or not you must breathe it even somebody is dying behind you you still have to breathe it if you close your nose that you don't want to breathe coronavirus you will still get choked and die so it is possible the only way out is for you to do what go and take coronavirus injection and what is the coronavirus injection of Biafra and Mazin Namdekanu and the followers? Referendum. Probably many um, Aousa people don't know what referendum means. I've said this before many times that referendum is just a counting of numbers. Are you getting me? It's a count. It's counting of numbers. Good morning, brother. Good morning. Uh, yeah. That's my gallant soldier. <laughs> my gallant soldier. I... So, probably, I want the Biafran people who are agitating on social media, please tell these people what referendum means. T referendum is meaning is, is a counting of numbers. Hmm? It's like when you line up some Biafrans and say, hey, all of you now. If you want PDP to continue and APC to continue ruling us in Biafra land, stand this side. 
If you want Biafrans to come, stand this side. Then they begin to count numbers. And of course, we know there are people who will believe that PDP and APC should still continue ruling us. Why don't you do referendum? Why are you doing this to us? We are not going to end this thing. This thing is not going to end. Listen to me. Nigerian government, look. You don't cure problem with problem. The solution of any problem is sitting down together and talk. Listen to me. I may come to Nigeria tomorrow. You killed me. You will never kill my son is growing up tomorrow. When my son hear that I was killed because of I'm fighting for the right thing. Do you think that Biafra is going to die? This is where you people don't have sense. Mazin Namdi Kanu have a son. Right? I have a son. Every Biafra have a son. ESN, they have son and children. All Biafra have sons. Every agitator have children. Our children are growing up. They know what we are doing right now. They actually know everything. You may take me out of the way right now, but that idea will not die. Ojuku died now, right? We are the son of Ojuku. We are still here. And we are still having other generations who still believe that you killed my father for fighting for his rights. We all live in illusion, in a, a bad dream. Many of you still agitate that, oh, one Nigeria, let's, let us have a, a, a Igbo, uh, an Igbo presidency. Or let's have a, pre a president from the southeast. You are joking. You are joking. I'm not saying you shouldn't have. What difference will it make when you put any Igbo extraction into the president? What, what difference? Nigeria is like it's like a, a, Nigeria is like a plane who don't have a direction. I, I forgot what they call this on a plane. Um, what did they call them? You see, any 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 plane where we are the see so where they drive, the flights, the pilots, you get one board where they in front of plane. Now that thing, now they direct the flight, the, the, the pilot of a plane where to go. I'm trying to explain to you, Nigerians don't have a direction. Now I'm going to use this scenario. A plane has a dashboard. That dashboard is where you watch the, 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 the pilot is following the, 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 the road to his destination. But Nigeria is like a plane who don't have a dashboard. It doesn't have, I forgot there's a name they call that. Nigeria is, we don't have any destination. There's no direction. We are just flying and flying and flying. When you fly to America, you come back. You fly to London, you come back. You fly to Kaduna in Abuja, you come back. But when the petrol finish, that plane go crash. Nigeria is crashing. The truth is, let, let the truth be told. I'm not... When, when we come like this to talk every day, they pretend that they are not feeling the pain. No, you are lying. You feel the pain. This is my only power that I have. This is the only power that I have. I have to let the truth known. The truth tellers are the most hate people in the world. And I'm going to repeat my word. Anybody who tells the truth in the world is the most hated person. By the elite, by the big men, rich men who enrich themselves from the poor. What value is my grandfather in Nigeria? You that you are watching me, what is the value of your grandfather? What is the value of your mother? Right now, your mother, the senior citizen, what is their value in your country? They have no value in their country. In your own country, you don't, they don't have no value. Ask people, do research. Abroad, senior citizen, they know they play with senior citizen abroad. Senior citizen means, now then be next to ancestors the senior citizens are grown up and they are about to die you have to take care of them when they die they die in peace and they go to pray to that country let me tell you why nigeria is not going to be okay all our senior citizens are die in anger and they die swearing for you people when the senior citizen live in his village there is no hospital to take care of them and they die because of common mosquito bite do you think he's going to pray for that nation he's dying in anger you people are not getting this thing. You are not getting it. 
you guys are not getting this, this, these people leading us, they, they have nothing to offer. Rocha Sokorocha had nothing to offer. Did you know what Rocha Sokorocha told you? He told you that all Biafran's uh, uh, IPOB are illiterate. And I was touched when he said uh, we are illiterate. And he further says he wants to become the president of Nigeria. And the Nigerian president, anybody who wants to be the president should be a businessman. Him, Rocha Sokorocha, that Nigeria needs somebody who is oriented to business. And I ask myself, Rocha Sokorocha, what is the business that you have done? What is the business that you have established? Have you built a car company in Biafra land? Did you build a car factory in Biafra land? Did you build a company where they are producing biscuits in Biafra land? Did you build, did you, what company do you have in Biafra land? You are building hotels and you are telling us you are a businessman? How many poor men could afford the houses that you are building? None of us can afford it. And you say you are a businessman. Rocha Sokorocha, please go sit, one, go sit down one place. Leave that to our English one side. Who the English they help now? They all, they, your English only help your families. All of you now don't invest money in Apple. You now don't invest money in Manchester United. All of, all of them as they did. So look, Nigeria, all of you are sold. When they tell you people sit at home, you think I'm begging you to sit at home? I, I don't look. Oh, some people are saying, oh, you people are abroad. We are sitting at home. My brother, you got to suffer. Nelson Mandela sit at home. I say yes. Marcos Gave, they sit at home. Marcos, Marcos Gave. If you don't know who Marcos Gave is, go and Google it. Does black life really matter in Africa? No. Look at all the edges in Africa. Tell me which of the African country is doing well. They aren't doing well. They are just trying to. Except we get freedom. We are not getting freedom yet. The only person I think suppose and is fighting for this freedom is Mazin Namdekanu. Is fighting for the freedom to free all African countries from this illusion, from this pipe dream that you believe that if the next government comes, Everything is going to be all right. Oh, when Atiku comes, it's going to be all right too. Ah, Atiku, when Atiku comes. Listen. You can't and we never get a good country except these two things that I'm going to tell you. Regional government. Or they give us Biafra. And better still, this your 1999 constitution need to be changed. I don't hate Nigeria. I, I, I will not. I just hate that name. I don't hate the people inside. I cannot say I hate motherland. That name Nigeria. We should have changed even that name Nigeria. Come on, I beg, I beg, I beg you now. What is wrong with us, Africa? What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? When, when, when? When are we gonna be wake up? We, me, I not talk say make those people not the evil leader. Make elder no leader so. I don't care who leader, whether a young or old. You cannot lead a country without an elder. And you cannot lead a country without a youth. Can you just sit down and talk with us? A man who does not negotiate with his children and begin to beat the children is a coward. I'm going to repeat to you. Let's, for instance, you have a son that your son is not listening to you. He's going to school and he, he, you send your child to school, he's not going to school. When your child comes back and you realize that that child did not go to school, what are you supposed to do? Even before you beat the child, you have to sit down with him and negotiate. And say, my son, do you want to go to school or not? Do you know the reason why you're going to school? You don't have to go out with those bad people. Oh, Papa, uh, I want to become a mechanic and I make I don't go to school. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. You got, to, you got to check and balance. If the child said, I'm not going to school, allow him to go and let that mechanic. Give him a reason why he should further his school. Biafra is not far from that. IPOB is not far from that. They are just living in, in illusion. Mazin Namdeka, they say, oh, we don't have to negotiate. <laughs> you don't have to negotiate. Oh, the soldiers are there to save you. Soldiers cannot save this enlisting. Nigerian police cannot save you. DSS cannot save you. 
What did they pay me pass? You know what did they pay me sir, pass? I love the Nigerian police. But they are suffering. But they never know I love them. How much is your takeaway home? That is not the kind of life you're supposed to live. I love the Nigerian army. But the problem you have is that you are not realizing that you're living in, a, in an illusion. A soldier who has served Nigeria for 10 years should have his own house. I mean your own personal house. 40,000? 45,000 per month? You know, they, you know they think? In a country where they're calling millions and millions and millions and millions. And they can't pay you well. Go and Google how much they pay American soldiers. Go and Google how much they pay American police. You can never be an American police for 10 years without having your own house. You cannot even be an American police force for ordinary six months without you having your own personal car. You as a police officer, now only leg is best. Now when they take waka, leg, leg, leg. Nowhere in the Western world where the police uses their feet to walk on the street. Brand new cars. Two police, one car. Yes. Two police, one car. The same police that is killing us on the street. The same DSS. The same soldier. You are using your own money. Out of that 45, 50,000, what did they give you? Now that money, now you still take buy uniform and shoes. What a shame. The same people who put you there, they are sleeping with your wives. They are all sleeping with your wife. If you talk too much, if they don't kill you, they sack you as well. So, oh no, I don't want to talk. Uh, uh, my, my, I don't want to talk. They go sack me for work. What a shame. The same soldiers, who, the same commander who is sleeping with your wife, send you to go and kill your brothers in southeast. What is wrong with you now? You know they strike. You know they talk. One soldier go come and come talk. Or, or the rest no go follow him. They go leave and make the kill him. They go leave and make the jail him. What is wrong with you guys? They are sending you to Boko Haram without ammunition. They are sending you to go and die in that bush without proper ammunition. Those people that send you to go and die, their children is abroad. <laughs> now what in the sweet me pass? You say, as they send you, make you go die for Boko Haram. As they send you, make bandit they kill you. Now so their children, they school abroad. As they, they retire, their children, they take over. If you're picking, if, if you die, you're picking to become soldier tomorrow, their children will still be on top of your children. Yes, we're all living in a pipe dream. We are living in illusion. You think, oh, Nigeria is going to be okay. Uh, when Buhari goes, we're going to get it right. You ain't getting nothing right. You ain't get. I can bet with my life. I swear. See, I also see tomorrow. I also see tomorrow. When you sit down and analyze the country, you are going to see that something is wrong somewhere. I can bet you with my life. Let's take Atiku. Join them together with Tinubu. Let them be president of Nigeria. Let them be vice president and president of Nigeria. They go, they're not going to change anything. You are going to jump from frying pan to fire. Do you know why? They all live in it. They are all hypnotized. They are rich already. They don't care about you. Tinubu in, 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 in Jedna for backyard. Piam, one time, if you get headed, Piam, Tinubu is in London. It's in US to, for medical checkup. Atiku, when he gets headed, my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications in that way you'll be able to know when i upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.